Greetings from the land of OP, I'm Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode number one. I don't know why I stalled on number one there, but I stalled number one. This is in fact episode number one of uh, my uh, attempt number four of a hardcore series. Woo! Hype! Been wanting to do another hardcore series for a little while. It's just been a little bit amplified. What did it say? But I was wondering, there we go. Just been a little while since I've actually gotten into things. Uh, we launched 1.7 on our server play series. That's been kind of going for a couple episodes now. Been wanting to do hardcore again for a little bit. Finally got the fuck around to it. As you can see, I just created the world there. And uh, we're loading terrain. I kind of wanted to wait for the 1.7 thing to go huge before we actually did a, before I did another hardcore attempt. Because there's been a lot of changes, a lot of shit that I'm looking forward to playing with. A lot of stuff I don't know how to do, which I'm going to learn with my face. And I'm also going to use this as kind of like an experiment ground at the same time for um, for the server play at the same time. So let's take a look what we got here. Uh, there's a nice flat area over here, it looks like. Let's go over there. This is a nice, huge desert. I'm not going to have any problems getting glass. Whoa! What is that? It doesn't say if I hover over it. Uh, I guess we're going to check this shit out. There's been a lot of new changes. Uh, link to the description. Ooh! Ye. Link to the description of... Oh, Jesus. I already... What the fuck? I'm leaving. I kind of want to know what that is. There's something coming at me, too. I can see it. There's a little red indicator on my map. I kind of want to know what that is, but I'm kind of afraid for dying within the first ten seconds of a new fucking hardcore attempt. So we're going to go around that shit. We'll come back with armor and swords and stuff. Um, There's a hole in the ground. So, yeah, 1-7, there's a link below with our mod list. You can check it out, see what we got going with, see what mods we're rolling with. Uh, got a lot of the classics, got a new, bunch of new stuff, though, too. And I'm uh, looking forward to learning some of the new shit. Uh, got some ideas from Agrarian Skies and the crash landing run we just, we just did. And I uh, got some ideas from the new server play that we just launched. Kind of want to roll with a few things. So I'm just going to build in this nice little flat area here. This looks like a friendly enough place to start. There's trees. There's a nice open area to build. I don't like the fact there's a tree over there. But uh, we can kind of get around that, I think, at some point in the very near future. Uh, we'll get that down so we don't have monsters spawning on us. Uh, nice! Sheep! Excellent! We are definitely going to go with sheep. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the uh, whole setup where we don't... Um, I don't heal through food, just normal food eating. I can only heal by, or by, well, excuse me, I don't heal from just normal regen. I have to eat food uh, in order to get healing going. And if I don't, that's something I need to enable because I forgot about it. Actually, it comes to, come to my attention, I think I might have... That day went by... Oh, it's it's raising. It's almost noon. Okay, cool. Uh, so, it's a good thing these guys are dropping some meat. That's part of the whole... Um, um, is that Pam's mod? Pam's mod, yeah, adds that, so we get some meat from these bitches. I'm also going to play like we have a uh, setup going on for um, hardcore tools. I, f I forget if that's actually what it's called, but it's that whole thing where you can't make stone tools, so I'm going to pretend like I can't make stone tools. There's some squid and some sheep, some cows nearby. This mini map is awesome. This is a journey map, and it shows you entities, which is handy. Uh, let's go over here and get some wood off this hill. I'm just going to dig into this hill. We're going to do classic hill, dirt hill, hidey hole. Oh, there might already be a hole down there. Let's plunder, let's plunder, plumb those depths. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dry mouth as fuck. I need to get a drink. Mmm. Mmm. It is almost, it is halfway through November. It is not even fucking Thanksgiving yet, and all the fucking places have got Christmas shit rolling in the store. So I got some fucking eggnog. I love eggnog. It's not, it's not the eggnog that you go over to Christmas dinner at your grandparents and you take a sip and you're fucking buzzed as shit. It's not that kind of eggnog, unfortunately. It's not your grandpa's eggnog that he drank with his war buddies, you know, during the times during uh, when they were away at seas and they didn't have family, so they tried to comfort themselves with uh, some, some, uh, some, some Jack, some Jack, some eggnog Daniels. Is it, egg, should we, eggnog Daniels? Jack, Dan, Jack eggnog? Jack Nog. Well, that just sounds dirty. Uh, it's not that kind of eggnog, unfortunately. It's not the good kind of eggnog, but hey, it's still delicious. And I had uh, 
Earlier, I'm not eating it now because I try hard not to break that rule, though I do sometimes break that rule of uh, eating on camera. But um, I will talk about it, shamelessly. I had some uh, red velvet cookies. I uh, got them from fucking Safeway. Red velvet is a type of cake. If you're unfamiliar with it, go check it out. Uh, red velvet is a delicious kind of cake. And it turns out it makes a delicious cookie, too. Uh, it's got uh, red velvet cookies, uh, red velvet cookie, and uh, white chocolate chips is what's in it. So it's got that. Uh, so it's pretty fucking delicious. And I ate the shit out of it. Uh, this is kind of like an underground little cistern here kind of going on. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. Just some water. So I'm going to kind of go with this for my little hidey hole to start out with, I think. I'm going to dig out some uh, some dirt here, and I'm going to fill in that water hole, because I don't need that water at all. It's like there's not water around me, is there? Is there water around me? Oh, there's a fucking ocean over there across the desert, and there's a little lake over here, so we're good. I guess I could have thought about that when I realized earlier, hey, there's, um, there's a squid over there, which means i got to be swimming in something, right? They're not just over there just, just derping around in shit. Actually, do they spawn in shit? I don't remember if they spawn in sewage or not. I want to say no, but weird things have happened. This is fucking Minecraft. There could be anything and anything at any point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dig this out by hand a little bit, and I'm going to go see if I can locate some... We'll go on a tiny little adventure back to that uh, underground hole over there. I'm going to basically just be naked for a few minutes. I need to get some tools rolling very quickly, so I need to go locate some gravel. If this is going to be... I can do the hidey hole later. I don't want to die from starvation. Oh, man, I need to fill that in, too. There's some water right there. Is that... What is that? Oh, here's some gravel. There's a single piece of gravel. So the only way to get gravel... The only way to get flint now is to... Uh, craft it. You have to take three pieces of gravel and craft a flint is what has to happen. So we're going to do that really quick. I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, whoop. No, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to drown. That's, that's dangerous down there. I'm not going to, well, you know what, let's do this. Let's do one of these. We'll get like this. There we go. Oh, come on, get out of the fucking water. Uh, there we go, and we'll kind of fill this in a little bit. And now, I can get down there without actually drowning. Nice way to get some flint going on here really quick. Uh, how, how are we doing for the sunlight? We're doing okay for a moment. Uh, we'll get down here, we'll get this gravel out of here. That was a nice little random find. I got down there, I thought I saw clay was the reason I went down there. I'm like, is that clay? I went down there and it is clay, but it's hardened clay. Oh no, it's limestone, whatever the fuck it's called. It looks like, looks like clay from above the water. I thought that would be a really handy way of just suddenly getting clay. Without having to go out to that ocean on the other side of that desert with that weird creeper ass thing over there. It's not actually a creeper, but it's a creepy thing. Oh shit. Yet. So I didn't want to go over there, but um Wow, so I guess I don't got I, I guess I don't gotta go check out that hole that I passed a second ago. So this should be enough gravel to get us started. I'll come back down in here in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna block this off maybe. Just nothing should spawn here for a few minutes anyway. Uh, so we're going to make a few starting out things. What did I make a crafting? Oh, wait. I need to make one anyway. So I'm not too too upset that I did that. Uh, we need a bunch of sticks, first off. And we need... Some of these guys. One of these recipes makes four of these now, so we can get eight just doing that, which is a fantastic thing. I'm paranoid. I'm checking the sun every couple seconds. Uh, so there's our tool station. There's a book we don't want or care about. I'm going to come back over here really quick. Uh, so I'm going to be setting up shop over here. Let's drop these for a few moments right here. And I will change those in a second here. And I'm going to drop my crafting table right there. Uh, let's make a chest. And now that we got the chest, we can use that to make the pattern chest. If I put it directly over the damn thing. Uh, and then a plank. And then a log. Nice. And so we got our part builder, and we got our pattern chest, which can just kind of go underneath of the stencil table because it takes up a little less room that way. And uh, we're going to... Oh, wait, no. That needs to be under the part builder. Shit. Hey, Rob, why are you so nub? <laughs> so a new, a new really cool thing about the pattern chest is it retains its inventory. So if you drop it and you need to move it and there's a shit ton of patterns in it, no worries. It's okay. Uh, so let's make... Uh, we need a binding... 
And we need a pickaxe head. It's cool, you can just click these off here now instead of going next and back. That shit was annoying as fuck. Uh, we need a sword blade pattern. And we need a wide guard. And that should do us for a few minutes anyway. Uh, let's drop these over here. And we're going to make ourselves... Oh, you know what? I didn't actually want to do that. I wanted to make a hatchet. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, well, we'll make, uh, we'll make a few more. I can always get more wood in a second here. I'm going to use a hatchet both as a way to chop trees for a little while and as a way to uh, fight enemies. So that'll be a good thing for a little bit. Uh, we're going to grab a tool rod and we're going to grab a hatchet head. What time of day is it? It's almost nighttime. That's cool. And we'll put the tool rod over here and a hatchet. And let's drop our bed just so we're... Move, you fucking weeds! Fuck you, weeds! I don't even know fucking weeds. Fucking weeds. Um, so we make we make flint like this now, by the way. you got to actually craft it. Uh, you can't just break it and hope. Because apparently uh, that's reserved for some other functionality or some other shit now, I guess. Hurry up! There we go. Don't need no monsters spawning right now. We have uh, mods that alter what kinds of monsters spawn and what properties they have. So we absolutely do not... Do not... I repeat, do not want that shit happening. My butthole is so puckered and worried for the surprise penetration right now, I just don't even want to get into that hole. I don't want to open that can of worms, if you know what I mean. Ah, can of worms. So, basically we're going to make a... Oh, part builder. God damn it, I'm so out of it right now. I came home early from work and I've like, just been like bonkers ever since. Uh, and then we're going to go with a... Flint head member, I'm doing this because I'm pretending that um, I don't have uh, stone tools available to me. So there's not going to be any just straight up like, oh, I'll just make a stone pickaxe and a stone sword and be for fucking fine forever. Uh, so this is just basically my little way of adding a little bit of extra flavor to the game. Uh, a little bit of extra howdy-do, if you will. So we'll get a basic ass, basic, ass, pi basic ass pickaxe. That was so hard to say and I have no idea why. Uh, there's a hatchet, which will double as my weapon for a little while. And now we can fill in this water hole a little bit. And I'm going to dig down here. Uh, this is pretty pretty flat. I'll fill in this little little tiny hole right there at some point. And I'll kind of level this out. This will be ground level. What are we at? Y72? Oh, wow, we're pretty high up, actually. Uh, so I'm going to kind of do this. And I'm going to kind of mine up some of this dirt for a few seconds. So give me a few moments to get going, guys. We'll be back in a second. You know what, while I'm doing this, I can actually get down here really quick, and I can grab a couple cobblestone. And by a couple, I mean probably about half a stack of cobble is probably what I'm going to aim for really quick here. Actually, probably just 16. I'll get, I'll do 16 to get me going. There we go, that's good. Uh, we'll back in. Oh, what? What, the f what was that latency about? Holy tits! Man! I have a better machine than that. Fuck me. Um, and I'm just going to make a couple... God, what the shit, man? Fucking damn. It's like fucking trying to pick up a hooker and finding out it's a cop. God damn latency. You're like, oh yeah, beautiful game. Oh no! Basically what that's about. Uh, furnaces to cook up some of this food here. So what I'm going to do really quick... Um, I like to have like four furnaces. I can't tell if there's actually a skeleton over there or not. I'm worried that it's going to come over here and just shoot a fucking arrow right into my asshole, and I'm going to be like, oh, my asshole, and then the episode's going to be over. Series will be over in one episode, and I'll post it, too. I don't even give a fuck. It'll have its own playlist and everything. One playlist episode. That's what that'll be. Uh, so we'll get some uh, get some trees going really quick here, and I don't know why I have these seeds on me. I really don't need these seeds for any fucking thing, so I'm just going to uh, toss them. Uh, that's part of Pneumatocraft, and we may or may not get into that at a future point. I have not yet decided... Pneumaticraft is pretty cool, especially with some of the later on functionality it gives you, but I don't know. It's kind of a weird mod altogether. Uh, so I'm just going to get some trees. We'll get some wood going on. <laughs> also, I'll chop some trees. And... God, I'm such a two-year-old. I don't even give a fuck. Two-year-old? What the fuck kind of two-year-olds am I been around that fucking like joke, dick jokes? How old, are, how old were you when you started appreciating dick jokes? Let me know in the comments below. If I had to say, if I had to guess, I would say that I was... Ooh, sweet. Rubber tree. 
If I had to guess, I would say that I was probably... Uh, uh, 13? 14. Somewhere in there. When I started appreciating dick jokes. I'm a grown-ass man, and I will never stop appreciating good dick joke. I'll tell you right now. Um, let's plant a few of these trees, but let's not plant them up on the hill, because that's a pain in the ass. Is the sun sinking already? No, it's overhead. So let's just plant a few of these over here. Uh, fuck you. One, one, two, there we go, that's good. I'll leave a gap. Oh my god. Eh. Okay. One. Down. One. Down. Was that one? Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll go out a little bit here. One. Actually, I guess I'll move this over because I don't want that beehive to get in the way. And this, this is going to be like nine trees so I can have access to trees. So I get wood whenever I want to get wood. Eh. Oh, wait. Gap. Oh my god. Why can I not... Jesus. I'm so fucking neurotic. If you're not neurotic before you start playing Minecraft, you are afterwards. I swear to Christ. Uh, gap. There's a tree. There's a tree. There's a gap. There's a tree. Jesus, fuck. Tree. Right there, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, God, that was so hard. Why was that so hard? Three minutes of episode number one. Make a grid of trees. Good luck. Have Batman. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have a few trees going on, and I've got a little bit of wood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these into charcoal over here. And I'm just going to do one of those. And that's going to get us some charcoal going on, which I'm then going to use to cook up this little bit of food here. So, that way I'm not going to starve, at least not right away. Bam. Alright, cool. Uh, let me fill in this. Let me go back to the original plan of filling in this hole, guys. Oh, son of a bitch. Fucking Blood Moon on the second fucking night. God damn it. Okay, so Blood Moon, for everybody who doesn't know, which is probably most of you, is um, terrible badness. Basically, uh, you can't do shit. Uh, Blood Moon is like, it's supposed to be like a really, really small chance, like a really small percentage. Um, like, uh, can be, can mean like, uh, it's, I think it's like a 5% chance or some shit. It's like a really fucking tiny percent chance that uh, a Blood Moon can happen. And what happens during a Blood Moon is a lot of enemies. Like, tons of monsters spawn and you can't sleep through the night. That's basically what a Blood Moon means. And uh, it's a terrible, terrible pain in the ass. It's supposed to only be a 2% chance, but uh, it happens way more often than that. Or a 5% chance or something like that. It happens way, way too often. Like, I don't even know... I don't know if it was meant to like be like some sort of false sense of security thing when they're like... When they're like, you know, oh yeah, cool, Blood Moon, whatever. It's only like a small percentage chance, and then bam. Crazy ass shit happening. Um, I... I don't like it. I really like... Well, it's it's not that I don't like it. It's kind of a neat little aspect. I don't like how frequent it happens. There's got to be something going on because it's not supposed to happen as frequently as it does. Um, so, but there's going to be a ton of... Look look outside. Look at my map. You can see already see the shit ton of entities out there. Like, there's tons of monsters spawn and you can't sleep through the night. And it's just a pain. Like, I, I dropped my bed out there. I was going to run out there and sleep as soon as I was able to. And then, like, right as it happened, bam, Blood Moon. And I'm just like, God damn it. Uh, well, at least I can spend this night instead of um, covering up the floor like I had originally intended. I guess I'm going to instead be uh, digging out the hole itself, which I guess is at least some, in some fashion, kind of productive. So I guess I'll do that, guys. And um, I'd show you what's going on, but like I can't really like I can't see anything directly out there. But look at all the entities on on the journey map. It's it's nuts. It's absolutely bonkers. Anyway, uh, give me a few guys, and I'll we'll be. Right the back. Ding! 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 Grout! Grout! Ding! Well, I would dig this back further, but um, I ran out of flint because I just used it for all my fucking gravel. So that's the thing that happened. Um. 
this I'm going to get into next episode. Got some wheat. Had to broke down with those hay men, those hay bale men out, out in the desert. So uh, that's good to go. And I'll have that. Uh, I'm going to do a farming setup at some point. But uh, not right now. It'll happen next episode probably. Don't want to get too much into one episode. So we got some of this. And we're going to do a smeltery right off. Uh, the smelteries now are modular, so you don't need as much shit to get going with them as you once did. I should really make a bookshelf. Uh, basically all you're going to need is, let's see, we're going to need a controller, obviously. There's our controller, and we're going to need a tank, which I cooked up a stack of glass. So that's a good thing. And we'll put a... Bricks around glass, that's going to get our tank. And we're going to need uh, one in the bottom. Those go on top. Let's see. Hang on a second here. Let me think about this. So we're going to need... Uh, where am I going to put this, guys? I don't even fucking know. Um, I don't even know where I want my mine entrance to be yet. So I'm just going to dig a little bit here really quick. This is going to get moved, but just for now, I'll be able to put this down to show you guys how easy it is to get a smeltery going this time. They're modular. They can be anywhere from, uh, like, they used to always have to be 3x3 three three on the inside. No longer do they have to be 3x3 three three on the inside. They can be anywhere from 1x1 one one all the way up to 5x5 um, five five on the inside, which is a pretty hefty, pretty hefty difference, I'd say. So... It's a nice little bit of a nice little bit of an upgrade for the smelteries there, so it just makes it really easy to get going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it in this alcove for the time being right here. One, two, three, four, you go one back further anyway, eventually. Uh, so I'm just gonna drop it right here for the moment. And that's gonna be the base brick. And I'm just gonna drop the controller right here. And I did that because it has to be facing inside. So if you it's faced right now against it's against the wall, but you can see that it's not actually hitting anything. And we're going to need one tank, which I'm just going to go ahead and stick right on top of the bad boy, because why the fuck not? And we're going to need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five more bricks. Well, it's eight. There we go. And we'll turn this into a drain. And then what we can do is I can make a casting table. And we're going to hit up these bricks. Stick them right there, right there, and right there. And we can put that guy right in front. We'll put our drain right there. Bam. There's our spout. Faucet, whatever. And look. It's... Oh, we got to replace that, I think, because it didn't initialize. It has to be facing the inside, so... No? Uh, that's not going to do it. Maybe it can't be touching this wall like that. We'll break this out of here for a second. And... Still didn't initialize. What the... What the tits... What difference between that and the last time we did? No, we had the exact same spot last time. Oh, it didn't have a tank last... Okay, here we go. Hang on. Let's try this. No? I know you can have the tank on top. I've done it before. What's with the latency? Holy shit. Alright, let's, uh, let's put the tank down here then. Let's see if this will... Oh, I guess on a one by one you can't have it on top. I swear we did that before though. Maybe you just can't have it directly on top of the the, uh, the smeltery controller itself. That's a possibility. So anyway, there. Look, we got a wing. It's got two slots because that's all it's got available on the inside. Bam! So it can hold two things. So now we're gonna get a, go get a bucket of lava for it really quick. What time of day is it? Is it getting nighttime? Oh man, it's really nighttime out there. Holy <laughs> fuck! So we're going to get a uh, bucket of lava for this bad for this bad boy. And the way we're going to do that is first we're going to make sure that all this is out of here. Oh, there's that. Put these away really quick. And I'm going to get three clay, like so. 
and we are just going to make a bucket out of clay. And then what you have to do is unfired clay bucket. So we got to stick this in here and stick that in there. And we're going to cook this unfired clay bucket into a fired clay bucket, or maybe it'll just say clay bucket. I fucking forget. Words, bro. Words happen. Just fire. Oh, it is fired clay bucket. Okay, cool. And then we'll just run over here really quick because there's uh, a good good bit of surface lava in this giant fucking desert that I started next to. So that's uh, that's a fantastic thing. Oh, you chickens are so gonna die next time. Actually, next episode I'm gonna be beating chickens. I'm gonna beat their asses. I gotta get a wheat farm going. That's on the duty list because apparently you can make just nice simple chicken sandwiches or fish sandwiches or other kinds of sandwiches. Hey, look, there's a cinder pearl. There's a couple of them. Nice. That'll come in handy later. Uh, just gonna run up here. Oh, nice, a little bit of copper. And we're just gonna do that. I'm not going to mine that copper because it's directly in the lava, so... Actually, there's no, there's just stone straight underneath that. Maybe I get lucky. I'll just fall on it really quick here. Hey! Eh. Nice. That one can go fuck itself. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Uh, this side, it's nice that I get that copper right off because now I can show you guys a little bit of smeltery goodness. Actually, I'm not going to burn the copper right now. I'm going to go digging really quick. Um, yeah, I'll do a little bit of tiny, tiny bit of digging off camera really quick before I end the episode. That way I can come back, hopefully get some aluminum. Show you guys the uh, smeltery rocking and rolling. I'm also going to block up this doorway really quick here because I don't know when I'm going to be coming back out and being outside in the, or down in a hole in the dark is not a good thing. So we got a lava, lava clay bucket. 20 RF a tick or 6,000 burn time. We can just right click this right in the tank and bam, now we have a, a thousand liquid lava in the tank right there. Boom! It's fantastic. Fills up a little bit and the bucket's gone. It consumes the bucket because the clay bucket is a wussy piece of shit. But uh, that's okay because its parents never loved it the way they needed. So, you know, probably needs some therapy. Poor bucket. Wussy piece of shit. So. <laughs> Um, let me go figure out where I'm going to put my, uh, my tunnel. I'm, th I'm thinking back in that corner over there. Actually, maybe this this corner, because I'll have, um, this will go in that far corner. I'll have some barrel storage there. No, I kind of want it, well, I don't want it too far back. This will be a tunnel entrance eventually, because when I move out of this hole in the wall, this will be the tunnel entrance. So I'll just do it right here. All right, guys, be back. Eight. Went to explore that hole that I passed in the beginning, and uh, looking for gravel, which I found, by the way. A little bit of it, not a ton. But I also got some aluminum. Sweet! Uh, it's not quite enough aluminum to be getting on with. There's only two of them. I need at least three to do what I need to do. Maybe I'll find a little more surface aluminum, but hey. Yeah, there's more copper. And gravel, sweet. Alright guys, after a good bit of mining, and... Expanding this thing all the way back. Check it out. I got a master flint pick. <laughs> Never seen a master flint pick before, have you? It'll get worse by the before we're done. Trust me. Uh, I moved this back in the corner like I said I was going to do. It's two, it's two back walls are in the actual walls of the base, so no big deal. Uh, I've got the smeltery under here. This is actually a drain for future use. We'll have that going in a little while. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to first melt up one copper and one aluminum. So we'll let that melt for a few seconds here, and then while that's melting, I made some barrels, by the way, and I've been collecting eggs because we've got chickens galore outside, so every time I run by, I pick up their eggs. It's been like an hour and a half, guys, I've been like mining and like picking up shit. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sandwiches out of these 12 fish here. So I'm going to get 12 of these eggs, there we go, and we're going to make two of these guys into a pressure plate, use one of those into a juicer, and we can juice these fucking eggs into mayonnaise. Apparently juiced, mayonnaise, juiced eggs make mayonnaise, who fucking knew? And then what we're going to do is we're going to need iron next, so as soon as these get done melting, oh, they're already done melting, so we have a little bit of aluma brass in there and some copper left, so we're going to put two more aluminum in there. Shouldn't take too long to melt up. And then while that's melting up, I'm going to get a couple of stone here. We're going to need one, two, two at least. Nah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we're going to take and we're going to make in our part builder. 
for the time being. We're going to make a pickaxe head, and we're going to make a tool rod, and we're going to make a binder, like so. And you're probably thinking, like Rob, I thought you weren't going to like parts. Can I thought you were going to make stone tools, so I'm not. Now you'll see. Give me a second. And we're also going to get in here, and we're going to grab one of these seared ingots. Cool. And what's going to happen is this should be done now. So that's a bunch of just molten luma brass in there, and we're going to turn these into patterns. And you'll see that once the, once the uh, pattern cast gets done, look, the part disappeared. So now we have our tool binding casts, but the uh, stone binding is disappeared, and the stone rod disappeared. Basically, it disappears every time you use something to make a, uh, a thing out of this. So uh, let's make that. There's going to be for our pickaxe, and we should have a good bit left. So we got five more of these guys. Here's going to be. I'm going to make one of these. Cool. Uh, that's going to be that. And what else should we make here? Let's make a uh, make a um, hatchet head. That'll be good. There's the hatchet head. And we might as well make these guys while we're at it. So we'll grab one of these. That's going to be for the sword blade. Because we got four more, so we might as well just use these up. Uh, wide guard. Uh, is that all I have in here? That's, that's five? No, that's six. Okay. Uh, let's, let me think of what else. I can't think of what else off the top of my head, though. Um, hmm. Whether, what, what, what other of these could we use? Well, we're going to make these pretty soon, so we might as well grab these. Uh, heavy, heavy, there's the plate. Uh, hammerhead. Lumber axe. And that's it, because that's all that are... That's all! That's our brand new everything else. Uh, so we'll just make a few of these. That's going to take a good bit of cobblestone, though, so we might as well just grab a stack out of here really quick. Uh, we're going to put a stack there. There's our tough tool rod. Uh, here's our tough tool binding. There's our plate. There's our hammer head. And there's our broad axe head. We'll put the rest of this away. Used almost half a stack of cobblestone. That's cool. Um, and now I've got four ingots here. So let's make... Um, Let's n not bother with the stone hatchet for the time being. I'll put that in the chest for, the, for now. Um, let's see, there's one. We are over time, aren't we? Oh, well, I'll do the rest of this off camera here in a few minutes. But uh, let me get this out of, out of the uh, thing here. Cool. Definitely need to do the rest of these off camera. There's one, and that doesn't really matter. All right, now we got it empty. I can always make more because I got plenty of aluminum. Well, not plenty, but enough to get by on for a little while. Still need to make these. We'll make those in a few minutes, or I'll make those later on anyway. So we got a good bit of lava left. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna melt up. Oh shit! I'm gonna melt this back down because I needed to actually turn that into. Did I do? No, I did the ingot cast already, didn't I? I did. Okay. Oh, God, I'm losing my mind now. Okay, so now we're going to melt up a couple pieces of iron. And that's going to take a few moments, so give me just a second on that, guys. I'll melt up some more iron, but now we've got some molten iron going on. So I'm going to make one iron ingot and two iron ingots. Cool. And with these two iron ingots, we are going to come over here to our crafting table. And we are going to make one of these bad boys. It's a skillet. It just takes a stick and a couple of iron or a couple of copper. I should probably do this out of copper, but I don't want to. I don't want to remelt stuff. So now we got a skillet, and so we got the mayo, the skillet, and now we need the bread and the rest of everything else. Uh, and luckily, I got these. So let me turn a few of these into uh, food really quick here. Uh, can I still? Yep, I can still do that. So we're gonna need 12 of these bitches. Well, there's three. Uh, six, nine, and twelve. I mean, you have to save some of these for planting, but there is another man, little 
There is another uh, hay bale man out there, so I can always do one of those. There's that, there's that, there's that. And if we put all these together, like so, bam, chicken fucking sandwiches. Those fish fucking sandwiches. And you don't use up your skillet. So now I can have fish sandwiches, and it's the exact same recipe for um, chicken sandwiches as for fish sandwich. You just use fish or calamari or something uh, instead of chicken, uh, and that's how you make some sandwiches. Basic sandwiches, you can add lettuce to these to make uh, leafy sandwiches. Nourishing meal versus nourishing meal, so cool. It's just another way to just another way to juke the system a little bit here. So I'm going to put this, this uh, anvil away really quick. And I've got a couple more ingots here of iron to cast up. And what's going to happen here is instead of carrying a shit ton of uh, instead of carrying a shit ton of copper around, I can now carry iron around to fix it. But I'm not actually going to use iron for this, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to save most of my iron here for upgrading to a tier two of tool forge in order to get um, hammers and shit going on. Because why fucking drive when you can be driven, right? It'll make mine a lot easier, and I'll show you guys my mining method probably the beginning of next episode. And right now I'm just going to get these iron, these bits of iron going. I'm going to need, for the Tier 2 Tool Forge, I will need uh, four iron blocks. So that's going to be... Um, what? 18 iron? So not, not quite enough iron at the moment. I'm going to have to keep mining. Don't quite have what I need for that. I think I can actually use copper too, can't I? Hang on a second here, let me take a look. Tool forge. Yep, so four blocks of iron. Can I use a copper? There's gold. There's diamond. Ooh, diamond tool forge. Emerald. Like I'd fucking do that. That's ardite. Manilin. There's copper. So yeah, I can use copper. So let me do that really quick, guys. So one of the cool things about the uh, Sear tank, guys, it retains its inventory when you uh, use it for something. So as we can see here, it's got a little bit in there from when I've had it before. And I like to kind of fill this in as I gather, but we can come out here real quick and we can just sort of give it one of these. And then I can kind of just fill in what I didn't pick up there just so I know where I was at. Now look, we got a, got a whole bucket practically. So let me grab another, another sand really quick here. There we go. Can't put that in there because there's not quite enough room, but I don't. I'm going to use some of it here in just a second. Now we can just carry this full tank back for uh, fueling the smeltery. Sweet. All right. And with that, I've already got what I need to make a tier two tool forge. Oh, man. So in the first episode, we've gotten a working smeltery and tier two tools already. Bow. I love it. Uh, let me melt up a little more stuff. Iron tool heads for iron awesomeness. You can upgrade your items on your on your tools as you go by replacing them just straight out. Actually, I think you need a parts can be replaced. I think you need the tool forge for that. Just jam it on there. It has to be completely repaired, otherwise it won't work out. So now I've got. Uh, Plus six damage hatchet, woo! -hoo! And now these repair with iron, and they last longer. So fantastic! And look, it preserves my skill level, which is nice. More lava, but don't want to interrupt your smeltery. Don't want to take your tank out. Seared glass is the answer. It will also hold lava, and it will also retain its uh, liquid inventory once picked up. Pretty easy to make too. Just four of those seared bricks and five of any kind of glass. Sweet, just kind of like portable little tanks. That just looks cool. I don't know. This looks awesome. Uh, we're using copper for uh, the plates and the tool rods because, well, I'm out of iron for one thing. And for another thing, it really only depends on the head, uh, the, main, the main head part of the tool, uh, as to what the repair material is. So even though most of these tools are going to be made out of copper, it's still going to be repaired with iron. And I'm out of iron. I need to go get I had more copper than iron, so uh, that happened. So we're going to put uh, basically... Just like that, bam. It says iron hammer, it's mostly copper, but whatever, who gives a fuck, right? Uh, there we go. There's that. And there's that. And there's our lumber axe. And then excavator. Bam, bam, bam. Fucking awesome. Looks kick ass to me. I think we're going to call it right there. So, tier two tools achieved, first episode. 
Hope everybody had an OP time. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Hitbox, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, slash Rob the OP Gamer. Peace.